Okay, welcome back everyone to Our Groovy Life. Today, we are testing three root beers. Now, we have a testing staging area absolutely full of different mm -hmm. products right now uh, that we're gonna be testing and have been testing for you. And we have probably 20 to 25 different root beers out there. Oh, My youngest daughter right here, Evie, decided, hey, Evie, which ones would you like to uh, taste? And she picked, sorry to these brands, but the most common root beers you could <laughs> possibly imagine. We have root beers from around the world to try. Evie wanted to try Mug A&W and Barks. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, and we're testing them together. So A&W that everyone knows, Mug that everyone knows, and Barks root beer. Nothing wrong with these products, so I'm not trying to put them down, I'm just saying they are the most common yeah. of the root beers that we have in stock right now. But, oh well, we're gonna give them a shot. So uh, here we go, let's pour them out. I would say, I wonder I which one is the best. Okay, we're ready to go. So on the right, we have A&W, the middle is Barks, and the left is Mug. Mug. So let's go left to right, or right to left, right to left. This way. A&W. Look right. Mm. Oh, that's like the, I think that's the clearest of all of them. It is the clearest. And you gotta love A&W. I remember growing up with the original A&Ws mm. and going to get a what was it? A Papa Burger, a, a Mama, Mama burger, burger, and a, a Baby, baby burger. burger. And you got and a, you get a little burger. tiny root beer float. And, burgers. and you got a mm -mm. beautiful mm -mm. little... Mm -mm. No teenage burger. You could get a little root beer float that wasn't any bigger than your class. And, and it was so cute. And a little cute. root beer float. Yeah. It was, mm. it, and it was proportionate to the size of the burger and the fries and everything. And it was a drive-in, like Sonic is these days, for anybody who doesn't know what an a and is. Because I think it's quite Midwestern. But it's a drive-in where they come and bring you your food to your car. They've been making a comeback. A&W has been. We've seen them popping up quite a bit over the last five, six years. But, uh, yeah, it's a solid Evie must here. like this one. Mm. Hers yeah. is gone. Oh, I thought both of you Solid root Nope. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. It's the taste of this one brings back memories for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one's The middle barks. one is Barks. That out of all three of these root beers, and the A and W is the most common, and Burks is the least common out of these three. Why do you say common? What do you mean by most common or least common? Um, that they're like they're all very the most common root beers, but this one I would say more people buy than like they make A and W and mug in a can. But A and W, I think, is more popular. I don't see a lot of barks in a can. There they are have, cans, but yeah. I know there are cans, but I think barks is a Coke product. I believe it's a Coca-Cola so family. About the barks? There's no foam. Boo! On a root beer with no foam, no head. There is no foam. You're There's right. no head. I noticed that right away, and you got to have bubbles with the root beer. But it tastes nice. But it's there's good, no bubbles. But I think it's a lot less sugary than. I was saying it tastes very sugary, like sweet. It's very sweet. To me it does. This one has a lot more vanilla in it. Maybe that's why it's lighter. The A and W. Yeah, the A and W is much more vanilla. vanilla that's for sure. No no foam or head on the barks at all. Mm -hmm. Not even a that's little. That's interesting. I've never ever noticed that about barks. Till right now. The other two I did not notice that right away. Very little fizzy with it. Interesting. Okay, and you can see that right away at the mug. Yeah. The mm -hmm. mug still so, has some, almost like you had a beer that yeah. just settled. Root beer that just settled. Root. What kind of beer is it? Sarsaparilla. Root. Root. Mm, almost done. We're trying mug now. Mug. Mug like nice. A lot. Mm. I think that's a perfect see, balance. This is why, see, people make fun of us sometimes for trying waters with a lot of the things we do. But if you set water up right beside each other, you can always tell a difference. The same thing with these. I would say that the mug to me is immediately a mix of these two. Mm -hmm. It's got the vanilla of A&W, fizziness and head that this one doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it has a good mix between vanilla and no vanilla. Right. Yeah, this one was very heavy on the vanilla. I would go for mug. Personally, that one's really good. Mug root beer. I like that one a lot. 
Yeah, that one's tasty. Mm -hmm. I think those ones gonna make me burp a lot more though. There's a lot. Well, it should because there's a, a lot, lot more, more CO2 in it. Bubbles in there, and the 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 foam that was on top. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm keep going back to the NW personally. Mm -hmm. I think the NW is oh. there, and because I love yeah. vanilla anyway, and it just, and maybe this one just brings out a little bit more nostalgia in me. I don't know when I taste it, but it just tastes better to me. No. Nothing wrong with the other two at all. Mm -hmm. This is, the bark's really surprising me, but it's a solid root beer, uh, but it's very different. Um, and the mug, I'm not even sure that I've really had mug root beer that much in the past. I think that's what but Jackson loved. Didn't he always yeah, used to drink mug root beer? beer? It's a really <clears throat> good root beer, but I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of going with the NW. Yeah, that barks is not as fun compared. I just tasted it again. I'm like, no, I like the other ones a lot more. Oh, this. All right, so what do you think? One, two, three. What's your favorite? Hers are gone. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe like root she beer. likes all root Doesn't beers. So which one would you, if they were all sitting there, which one would you grab first? Whatever cup is nearest. <laughs> I love root beer, so whatever's there, I'll drink. I love all of them, but I really liked the mug one. Okay. Mug. No, That's fair. I love, solid, good I love root all beer. of them, but That's a great root beer. personally, I'll just grab which cup is closest or which oh, yeah. leader is closest. You'd drink them all. I would drink them all. <laughs> so I have really no opinion. So there was a, I read about it years ago, in the 1950s, there was a live commercial for dog food. And I don't know if you remember if it was Jack Parr or somebody way back when. And the dog came over live and ate the the dog food that he was supposed to, and then he went over and ate the other two dog foods anyway. So that's exactly what Evie would do with root beer. <laughs> she would drink a root beer and then she'd go drink the other two anyway. So that's all good. Cool. Nothing wrong with liking root beer. <clears throat> so what would you go? One, two, three. Gab. The mug, the A&W, and then the Barks. And that's fair. How about you, really Bethany? Good. a w for sure, is number one. And then mug, and then sorry, Barks. I always thought I loved you very much, but you're number three. Barks is the only one of these that has caffeine in it, by the way. That might be something that could says be. a little bit to it. That could be why there's not as much. <clears throat> so I don't uh, care about the caffeine issue whatsoever, personally, because I'm a coffee drinker, so I like caffeine. But yeah. <laughs> uh, but I would go with uh, what my wife said in, in the end of you, just because it just brings back um, pleasant memories to me. And being out on the road and a family trip and the old Rebel AMC Rebel station wagon and stopping at the at the NW and getting a baby burger with the root beer float. It just good oh, uh, good beer. memories to me. Mm. Secondly, uh, is the mug for sure and the barks gives me the hit number three. But all solid root beers. Again, if you yeah. if you grabbed a root beer and said I'm going to drink a root beer, um, I wouldn't be disappointed with any of them. There. Yeah. They're really nice. We're going to try a whole bunch of other root beer for you, and we're going to get a little bit more exotic and around the world, regardless of what Evie might want to do. But I bet you, it's root beer. I'll drink it. I bet you she's going to drink it she'll anywhere because we have a lot of different root beers. But there's nothing wrong with good old American root beer as these three are. So, thanks for stopping by, everybody, and we will see you in our next root beer taste challenge. Bye. Bye.